Right. Welcome to Moving On TV and The Awakening. And it's frozen. Welcome to Moving On TV and The Awakening. I want to call it today, Nobody Loves Nobody. Like Chris Isaac's song. Because that's how, that's how it is. I haven't been on now three days. Um, I'm too scared to go on my mobile, just in case there's no messages from anyone. Because the only one who knocks on the door is either delivering Amazon or the postman. And I am in the depths of depression. The loneliness is unbearable. I don't see anyone anymore. I've been trying to meditate, sleep, eat, do what I can, keep going. Losing my will to live bit by bit. Every day is the same. I don't know what day it is today. I don't give a shit. I don't know if it's day or evening. Um, this will probably go out by tonight, just to see whether anyone bothers today, as it's been three days now since I cut myself off. It's no way to live. Nobody loves nobody. That's what I feel at the moment. I feel like the human race, there is no love at all in the human race, none. You have love for yourselves and for your families and your friends, but that's it. It's not real love. There's no such thing. You don't know what it is. You don't know what unconditional love is. No one loves me, no one, no one. And I'm doing everything possible to love myself and the cats. And that's it, because that's all I have now. That is it. Those people that seem to care about me, they live too far. I have no one now, no one. Since my father-in-law was diagnosed, I became a non-existent person and no one comes here anymore at all. Not even my ex-husband. Well, I was married to for nearly 27 years, but that doesn't count. I don't count at all, apparently. I'm not going to put this out now where our dog is playing up and I can't get it fixed. I can't be bothered to do moving on TV anymore. Why should I? Why should I? I don't get paid anything. None of you are supporting me. Occasional people are giving me a pound or five pounds a month now for Patreon. That's it. A pound a month. You're not even prepared to pay that in order to help me keep moving on TV work. I have no one and nothing. And I'm trying to find God. But to me, God is love. And there is no love. The human race, I don't really give a shit anymore what happens to you lot. I don't. All you care about is watching Charlie Wood and all the big guys out there that have their homes and their families and their friends and money. They're not being evicted. They're not getting panic, living in total panic of when the hammer's coming down and going to be thrown in the streets because no one cares. A few strange people, I, uh, some guy invited me to stay with him. <laughs> You're right. I don't know him and I have my cats. Um, everybody who, who seems to, well, another person contacts me, but I can't deal with all their issues at the moment. I can't deal with anything. I can't deal with any more of this. I can't deal with any more of this 
fucking shit world that you and me created together by being complacent, by not giving a shit. And now these groups on Facebook, you make my skin crawl because you don't care about individuals. All you care about is you're going round and round in circles trying to figure out what's going on. But you don't care about individuals. You don't care about people. You don't care about me. You don't even notice that I've been gone for three days on Facebook. You don't care. None of you care. None of you. None of you care. You didn't care before this and you don't care now. All you care about is yourself and your own little narcissistic issues. You don't care about people like me, the forgotten ones. And you don't care whether I do moving on TV or not. There's like one or two people watching. Kara cares. Kara cares. And that person that watches. Two people care. Because they continue to see watch moving on TV. Who else cares? I'm going to upset a lot of people now, but... They're not here. No one's here. No one bothers. And I don't care anymore. I need a lot more than this. Every day I contemplate whether I should end it. So I'm going to call that lot because I haven't ended it. But I'm contemplating it on a daily basis. Why should I care? I don't want to live like this. This is not what I want. No one should live like this. But this is it. This is it for me. I have nothing and no one. Not nothing and no one. Because I can't let myself get triggered by that lot. And those that say they're awake, they're the ones that are full of the most shit of all. They have no love in them at all, none. None for themselves and none for others. None, none, none. Love doesn't exist, as I said, it's like, there, nobody loves nobody. What is love? Does anybody love anyone anyway? No, this is a world without love. There is no love in this world because love would extend to me as well, and it doesn't. I don't say I don't love myself because I do, because I'm doing my best to eat, to sleep, to meditate, to take care of me and the cats, to tidy up the house. But no one is here. No one is ever here. Ever, 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 ever. And the man I was married to for nearly 27 years can't go out of his way now to come here once a week either. So that's it for me. And I don't want to be here anymore. I don't. I'm hanging on by a thread, guys. I'm hanging on by a thread. That's the truth. I'm hanging on by a thread. Whatever that means to you, I don't know. But I am hanging on by a thread. Just about getting through one day, one minute. I don't want to put anything on moving on TV anymore. I don't want to work for you anymore. Whoever you, whatever you are, because you don't care about me, none of you. I've been doing this for 10 months now and you have no gratitude. One pound a month I asked you for Patreon and it was too much for you, for all of you. Except those that, that I know are genuine. One pound a month, when you would pay Charlie probably 20 pounds a month. Why? Do I not deserve to thrive? Apparently not. This is not going live. This will go on probably by tonight because I'm too scared to go on my phone because I don't think anybody's bothering to even contact me or try to find out how I am. That's how I feel. I know that Janie will probably text me and maybe Angie, maybe Sharon, Gina. That's it. 
That's it. But there's no, um, Manuel called me at 2 a.m. in the morning, 2 a.m. to see if I'm okay, just to get me through that night. And as I say, I don't even know what day it is. Is it Tuesday? Is it Thursday? Is it Wednesday? I don't really care anymore. I feel so cursed to live in such a disgusting, dead, unloving world like this. You deserve everything that's coming. If you don't wake up and those of you who are awake that don't care about the individual because you never cared about me before this you had your families and your lives and people like me don't count we never counted we're called the forgotten ones i wish i was a drug addict i wish i was an alcoholic i wish i could numb my pain but i can't i feel it and i'm working through it it's not going down, it's not going away. It's not going away. It doesn't matter what I do. Don't get too hungry, I'm, I'm eating. <laughs> Don't get too angry, <laughs> I'm raging. I let it out. Don't get too lonely. Unbearable. Unbearable. I can't even ring up a 12 step group because all they talk about is the pandemic and their madness. And it just triggers me because this is how it's going to be for life, it seems. When's it going to get better? I don't see anything, do you? It's all bollocks. It's not getting any better. It's nearly a year. It's getting worse. I hear people telling me, like, I don't know what's going on with Martin. Is he sick? Is he in quarantine? What's he not telling me? If he was here, I'd be healing him. With, I always heal him. If he's there, he'll, well, there's no chance in hell. He won't make it. How can he make it with that lot? I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I have to just sit here and wait for the bad news. Away from the eviction. I'd rather die first. I'm screaming for some love, some human contact, a hug. before it's too late. And then, what will you do if it's too late for me? What will you do? I can't say anymore whether I 100% will not. I can't say anymore. Suffering is so strong. Every day I'm praying, I'm meditating, I'm, I can't ring the prayer line anymore. They tell me I'm a bad person for, for my beliefs. I can't ring the prayer line. I've lost that support system as well now. There's no love, no, there's no love. Nobody loves nobody. Just like that song, Chris Isaac. Nobody loves nobody. This is a massive cry for help, a friend, a hug, that's all. A real friend, someone that stabs you in the back, someone who pretends to be a friend stabs you in the back. A 
create just a friend, a real friend, passion, love. I don't want to be locked up. I don't want to be medicated. I just want some company. That's all. Some company. At least once a week. People like me. Wise, awake, genuine, compassionate. I didn't do too well in the family department and I didn't do too well in the friend department. Apart from beautiful tribe of people that I brought into my life since the lockdown, they lived too far away. I didn't do too well at all. This is a scream for help of unbearable loneliness. 